Hello and welcome, Julie Cube here, coming to you with another lovely piece inspired by autumn colours, even though we're in full summer in Australia. So this, I'm just mixing this white paint, it's going to be my base, but I will change the absolute look of the base as I go along. Those are the colours that I'm inspired by. So it's, um, yeah, definitely autumny tones colors so I thought that's matchy matchy and then I've got the uh, wattle kind of matchy matchy but a bit brighter than that and then I've got the dark sea that I mixed with metallic silver to match these ones so I just thought it give me you know autumn inspired leaves I mean I could very well add some of these leaves as an embellishment after and I intend doing a piece of work where I do do that but today I'm kind of just going to use those colours I am going to add a little bit of my um, berry delicious because it is berry delicious I have worked with a few of the pieces of art this week in these colours that's actually too thick see I'm going to add a bit of pouring medium and I'm going to add a bit of water also. I have already pre-mixed my pouring medium, but um, because I want it to blow out nice and easy. But even when I'm doing my chaos blowouts, I don't have the paint. I don't like to have the paint really thin. I still like it. That's probably still a little tell you what I'll do I will spread it with my offset spatula these are such a good tool if you're acrylic arting now lots of people have asked me do do you uh, coat your canvases because they need coating well no the can my canvases are always bought or purchased pre gessoed gessoed just keep yabbering so I'm told so I am going to just do a little bit of a different background here I'm going to kind of do a composition that just goes from the corner here's going to be my color but to jazz up the background I'm going to use a comb to just comb some of this through the background so instead of all white it's got some of these combed effects in like so so just a normal comb I just got from my discount store or you could go and take it out of your bathroom wherever you choose to I guess so I just thought I'd do a kind of a, a background like this I have done a um, uh, what you call them a uh, catalyst wedge this week in it and it turned out beautiful this is probably going to all get blown around anyway down here so I'm not too worried I just thought I'd you never know you do something and you think oh that is a lovely effect so there you go that's just going to be my background down there so I'm going to wiggle some of this about wiggle 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 it's a lovely colour and because I've customised it I've put some of that dark sea in with metallic silver it's made it really um, glistening you know it's put uh, the uh, what you call it like iridescent okay this is a little bit of my uh, berry delicious which is the cool red a blob of phthalo blue and um, if you want it to go real dark cherry then add a blob of black into it. So I'm going to use this up because these are the last of my these particular colour palette for this week. And um, I will mix and do another colour palette for my next lot, which will probably won't actually paint now till after Christmas because I've got a few videos already done. Now this is that. I'm really hoping this <laughs> doesn't go a disaster. I don't want to blow too much of this colour up there. 
um, I'm going to add a little bit of the cool red. So I'm going to just wiggle, wiggle, wiggles, wiggles, pour, as I call it. I always find this works pretty nice. These colours, I've just done them on my previous canvas in a different technique and they really do look like what I've done. It looks like birds of paradise, like it looks really um, tropical birds of paradise or my husband said dancing girls. Uh, I don't know. It is what, whatever you see I guess, isn't it? Um, I would like to use some of my navy just to see if this will work. If, I think it will. This is mixed with the same, mixed all of them. I've been using that and the same pouring medium. So I'm just waiting for it to come out to you guys. So I'm going to just tilt a bit of this over the edge. So it rolls off over the edge, rolls off over the edge. Just nice and slow, just take it really nice and slow. No rush, this is all part of it. I probably should have put that other colour on after I'd done this, but I'm silly jilly and I forgot. But recenter your paint whenever you've tilted it, just try to recenter it again. So that's what I'm doing there. Now I just want to do some. I don't want to do no great big blows, so I don't know whether to try it with my hairdryer or my mini mini blower. I'll just um, use my heat one to burst any air bubbles, and it helps the paint absorb into the canvas. Rightio. Now, I might need to use my... Um, little mini 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 you know the little world's smallest dry but I'm going to try with my, this one first or should I even try it with my straw oh let's give it a go no, that's not strong enough to do some or should I use my tiny catalyst switch but there's my little one I've got this little one I wonder if I can do some nice effects with this wow 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 that's cool so it's this little catalyst switch it's by plaid that one I'm not sure where I got that from but I just want to bring up some of the other colour into that background Wow, wow, wow. See, you have to try these things to get different looks. So you're, I don't know, it mixes it up a bit. Hey. Oh, that is beautiful with a catalyst wedge. Give it a go, Joe. Wow, wow, wow. Now I want a catalyst wedge everywhere. I know you're going to say, oh, she always goes too far. But you know, that's, it's, you're right, your rules. <laughs> And all of that. 
Well, super duper. I wonder if I do wedge through some of the areas. Sort of. Just, I don't want to actually spoil it because I actually love this wild look. But I guess now I'm using the comb. Just gives it, um, I don't know, some depth and a bit of romance, I'm thinking. I absolutely love to balloon kiss that bottom half, but I'm not going to today. I am going to tie my hands up. I'll whiz over it with the heat one. I think these will look beautiful with a coat of varnish when they're dry or even a resin coat but that's you be winner winner chicken dinner um just want to soften up some areas i'm using the stainless steel torch with the silicone end easy to just blow some detail just to do some width Oh, every time I get an itchy nose, when I blow it. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna bring you down so you look at it from my perspective, but it's pretty wild, pretty wild. Here we go. It's just got so many points of interest in there and different things are showing up in there. You know, it looks like some eyes in there, it looks like a colorful parrot love the effects through that paint with those different combs and the catalyst wedge so there you go you, you may have things in your kitchen or bathroom <laughs> cupboards that will make awesome tools in fluid art look at that that's so lovely thinking of tying uh, getting two or really long comb and doing a big canvas of those really fine effect right through your canvas that would look you beautiful super duper the chaos blow is beautiful it's actually glistening there so there you go that cool red just makes those colors pop they really do go lovely together all of those colors so we'll bring you up and have a look at your whole thing the wait on for the photos at the end so it's something different to try please give it a go or if not you know just enjoy enjoy watching please take care if this video comes out before christmas i wish you all a very happy holiday happy christmas happy whatever you believe in or celebrate it's all good i uh, hope that you have nothing but joy and i hope if you're in countries that are going through winter that your winter is not too bad we're in the heat here in Australia and um, I'm quite enjoying it. So not too bad at all, not too shabby. So please take care people. Remember if you're sad, lonely or depressed, ring a family member or a friend. Do not suffer in silence. There is always a helpline, whatever country you're in. So again, please take care. All of my love and thanks so much for coming on this crazy art journey with me and especially this year 2022. As you'll see by the end photos I did add a few balloon rolls. I um, wanted to add a part of me to the painting that's what I love to do and I will gift this painting so yeah just did a few balloon rolls which you've seen me do many many times but absolutely love this technique and look the orientation or the composition you can turn it any which way you choose so thanks again for joining me